All right, round or attempt number two. <laughs> we'll go back to our continuing adventures on the Let's Defend platform. Today we are going to take a crack at the free and supposedly easy uh, challenge of VOIP. And yes, it shows 14% because, like I said at the very start of this recording, this is attempt number two. So I managed to get the first question. We'll go back over that. And everything just locked up. So I think it's about time that the system is nuked and paved. Anyways, let's see that neither here nor there. Uh, description, your friend James, close friend James, recently received a suspicious phone call from someone claiming to be his bank. The caller asked for sensitive information, making James uneasy. Suspecting a potential vishing or voice phishing attack, you decide to investigate by capturing and analyzing the VOIP traffic. Which, mind you, unless it was already being captured, the phone call being done would be kind of be next to impossible to sit there and do this after the fact, but hey. Maybe there's like, I don't know, three days of rolling captures of traffic. Anyways, so we're asked uh, how many RTP packets are in the traffic? 18,348. Again, I'll come back to how that was derived at. Uh, when did the fake call with James start? What is James's phone number? How long was the call with the bank? What is the phone number of the bank that James received a call from? What is the name of the bank calling? And what is James' social security number? Hopefully just the last four. Okay, <clears throat> so we're given a PCAP file. And in that there is a RTP display filter that we just put RTP up in here enter and we see that the total amount of packets down in the lower right 18,584 but it is only displaying 18,348 and we want the number that is displayed as that is how many actual packets are RTP We're going to go with when did the fake call with James start? Let's take the filter out. So I'm assuming it's going to be when we actually get, because we got, okay, status 100 trying. We get status 180 of ringing. And then we start into actual back and forth. And they wanted, uh, what was it, UTC? Year, month, day, hour, minute, second. Okay. <laughs> In UTC. So do where do we have I'm assuming we're running with this so my guess is well I guess it depends do you count the ring time do you count or is it specifically only at the aspect that, you know, you've got supposedly two people talking. Because so I would assume it would be once you're actually going, but if we, well, I guess let's try this. We'll go with the assumption of the very start of everything here. And we're going to do SIP. So we're going to look for the very first aspect and try to 
put that into something. So what if we take a look at the okay re invite? Well, I mean it's the very first sip, so excuse me. So we'll take the aspect and we'll work down the timeline because well actually do we have to? If I take a look at the hint. Okay. Let me pop this out rather than just sit there and shotgun a bunch of answers. So if we do the hint, filter for SIP to find when the call with John started. So basically, when the whole session kicked off, not when there was actually communication back and forth verbally. So I'm going to assume it's going to be the very first pack that we end up seeing with that. So that looks like we're going to run with the arrival time of 2024, May 3rd, 1536, 36 is going to be my guess. Wait, that's central. Sorry. UTC. So May 3rd, 2024, 203636. 36. Which, okay, fine. Uh, let's try that. So it's year month date was the third twenty thirty six thirty six from the wireshark aspect okay yeah that's what they're running with that's fine and we need James's phone number eh? It's four characters. It's four characters. So I've got the. Yeah, yeah, let's bring up Wireshark. There. So uh, we take a look further into this aspect. We can see an IP address, and we're given 7001. That seems to be all the way through. And 7001 is four numbers, and we're looking for four characters. So I'm going to take the guess that what we're really looking for is 7001. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um. And then there's another aspect inside of Wireshark. We'll go back because we need to find out how long. There is a telephony section. And then the very first option on the drop down menu, which I realize is not being captured, is VOIP calls. This opens up a brand new window window that I should probably move this over to so you guys can actually see it. And we'll transition over. And so we have two aspects here. We do see bank, which apparently does have an actual number attached to it. And we have the 7001. And it looks like the duration was a minute 35 seconds. So let's see. We bring this down. And they want what? Hour? Minutes? Seconds? So it's going to be 0, 0, 0, 1. What did I say? 36 seconds? 35 seconds. 35 seconds. All right, and then the phone number of the the bank. So that would be. I don't suppose I can actually just copy out. No, not easily. Okay, so we're just gonna move this over here. So I am reading again from the VOAP call where we actually had the duration listed. So the from field is bank in quotes, 
with a SIP address of 0, 1, 3, 2, 6, 9, 4, 7, 6, 9, 7. And that's correct. Now we need the name of the bank calling, which probably means we need to listen. But let's uh, quickly bring back that up. So again, we are pulling it from the from field. And then we get the actual IP address, which interestingly enough looks like it's the same IP address shared as the 7001. Hooray. So inside this particular um, VOIP calls window, the lower right hand corner there is play streams, which we can kick off, which then gives us another window, which I now have to sit there and try to find. Should be RTP player. Yeah, and then it converts to this. And we get the nice little, um, what do they call it? Frequency? Graph? And if we go and hit play, you know what? That's actually not coming through. Um, crap. Huh. I gotta figure out how to loop that back, or how I'd be able to sit there and loop that back in. Crap, I never thought about that particular aspect about actually bringing in the audio. <laughs> Ah, uh, crap. Okay, hang on. Okay, I am just going to hope that this is going to get picked up. So I've got audio output capture of the wireless headset. So output should be what I'm hearing, not input is in what I'm saying so here we go hello this is John from the bank of wealth I'm calling to verify some information regarding your account can I have your name and date of birth please um sure this is James Smith and my date of birth June 15, 1985. Why do you need that information? Thank you, Mr. Smith. We're just conducting routine checks to ensure the security of our customers' accounts. Now, could you also confirm your address and the last four digits of your social security number? Wait a minute. Why do you need all this personal information? I've never been asked for this by my bank before. It's just a standard procedure, sir. Nothing to worry about. We're here to ensure the safety of your account. Your cooperation is highly appreciated. Well, okay. My address is 123 Oak Street, and the last four digits of my social are 5678. Thank you for confirming, Mr. Smith. Everything seems to be in order. Have a great day. All right, but I'll be contacting my bank just to double check. Goodbye. Okay, so hopefully that actually came through. <laughs>
Uh, okay. Um. Wow. Yeah, it is definitely time to uh, buy a new daily driver. What machine? Okay. So apparently Firefox decided to crash while I was going through and playing that. So this uh, sounded like Bank of Wealth. And okay, so that was on the money. And I unfortunately don't remember what he said his last four of his social was. Actually, let's do this. I will remove the audio output capture just in case. Let me move here. We're here to ensure the safety of our users. Your cooperation is highly appreciated. Okay, so replay the audio. My address is 123 Oak Street. 123 Oak Street, last four. 5678. Wow, okay. Okay. So, by sheer process of elimination, let's see if we got that right. So, Bank Wealth was correct, and James's last four of James's Soch were in there. It's always a nice thing. <laughs> so, there we go. That is the complete aspect of the VOIP challenge. Uh, yeah, Wireshark is definitely the appropriate tool since it was absolutely no hassle to sit there and extract the stuff out. I had a harder time figuring out how to get the, to hopefully, get the audio to play in, um, or at least feedback into OBS to be captured. <sighs> if not, you can go through and do this yourself, especially considering the fact that it's a free um, exercise. So there we go. Uh, very nice aspect that I can't say that uh, I end up actually doing too often whatsoever. Um, that being VOIP traffic analysis and then actually replaying everything. Although I would think that most of the communication streams would be encrypted so you're not just getting a straight voice, but eh, whatever. But So there we go. That is... Uh, that's the challenge. All good stuff. And with all that being said, I will see everybody in the next video.